I had to kind of just grind through it. This path, retro hell, path, retro hell, path. It just and put dirt in it, and put your head in there and just smell, and then you just take that whole thing and go. Uh, now you can actually say see that CAO is red, is nice, it pops in the eyes. Um, cue the intro. Okay, let's go. Every single day. Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we're reviewing the CAO Vision 2022. Now, this particular cigar, I had bought one of the older versions back in the days, which is this one. I think this one released in 2020. I did not know there was a 2021 version. Apparently there is. But I bought the 2021 thinking that the box is like really, really cool. But after I received the box, the LED is not that cool. So I didn't bother to look into it anymore. Now, apparently they released this one to fit in a, a, a draw, two drawer style box. Still looks pretty cool, but I don't think it feels the same way. It makes me want to buy a whole box of it. So I ended up just buying one stick, right? And this one stick would be... $19. $19. And I can I, I can totally understand because the box and stuff like that. But I don't understand if the cigar by itself is $19. It's, I think it's because of the box is $19. But so if we didn't get the box, you're kind of missing out, right? Uh, they made 2,700 boxes of 30 cigars, which comes to the whopping $569.70 per box before tax. So yeah, I, I think that's kind of crazy. So I, I just bought one stick, one stick to, to smoke. Um, uh, the wrapper is Honduras, which kind of got a little bit of my attention. Binders Nicaraguan and Fillers Nicaraguan. This uh, runs in uh, Toro, so six by 52. So yeah, let's, let's light it up and see whether or not this thing gives me a vision, right? So I don't know, I don't know. Very chocolatey, woodsy smell. Like you can smell right on it. Um, the way the the wrapper looks is very um, raw, unrefined, like broadleaf looking, <laughs> veiny cigar. It's got a foot band that looks like. If I can get it off, I don't want to. So what happens uh, when you cut your nails and you don't have a nail to open it up? All right, here we go. Very simple. Just says 2022. Nothing special. Cut and light. Dry draw. Coco. <clears throat> Cocoa, wood barrel, like at the bottom of dry wood barrel, kind of musty in a way. And leather, leather for sure, leather for sure. Let's light it up. I have to turn my fan off again. Let me turn my fan off. That way I can actually light the cigar. Yeah, it's gotta take a little bit. Mm. 
very leathery. Definitely very leathery. Little bit of baking spice. Little bit of cocoa. Little bit of cedar. And dirt. There's like a, that weird, damp bottom of a barrel, earthy smell, taste to it. And then kind of brings in a little bit of like spice, spiciness. Right, underneath all that, after you taste a little bit of weird saltiness, you get that characteristic Honduras tobacco sweet cedar taste. Yeah, and it's very earthy. Leathery, earthy. Um, red pepper that burns a little bit. And that also tastes black pepper. Yeah, that's pretty much what I get right now. So, yeah, it's interesting bunch of taste to start off. I'm so like, you know, even though it's a lot of the flavor is not something that I prefer, like earthiness and stuff like that, and like barrel, bottom of the barrel. I'm, I'm glad that it's not this size because it will take forever to smoke. So we'll go through with this size. Let me smoke one third, I come back and we'll talk about it. Yep. First third, finished through. It's not, it's not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good. It's earthy. It's dry. It's not impressive. It did not give me a vision. It ain't burn wonky. So yeah, first third didn't go for it very well. But if I see going to the second third right now, I start to get a little bit more flavor now. The the chocolate taste starts to ramp up just a little bit. I'm hoping that it, it improves. But yeah, the first third was boring. Like the first third, I had to kind of just grind through it. This puff, retro hell, puff, retro hell, puff. It just, it's just. I I feel like I'm tasting dry barrel dirt. So imagine. Take a barrel. I'm not even talking about like the, the bourbon barrel. I'm just talking about an old barrel that's damp and musty. And put dirt in it. And put your head in there and just smell. That's how it feels like. Like it was just like, ooh. I'm not even talking about fresh barrels. I'm talking about wet, damp barrel. Like, you know, you had a flood outside, you left a barrel that's just built without charring it. You just left it there. And then you come out three months later, it still have water in it. It dumped the water out. You know, there's some like rotten parts on there. And you know, they just left it as is. And you scoop some dirt. And a little bit of poop. A little bit of like horse shit. And just dump it in there. You grind it up. You mix it up. And then you let that air down a little bit. And then you just take that whole thing and go. That's how it feels like on the first third. Like, really, it was not good. But yeah, it starts to get sweeter on the, on the second third. So we'll continue on the second third. And hopefully it gets better because, yeah. It, it dries out my mouth, too. I don't know why. So we'll be right back. All right, we're down to second third. I don't know what happened. I just don't enjoy the cigar. It has so much of that dirt, earthy taste. I just don't like it. I really don't like it. I don't see how this is $19, other than the fact that the box takes that much to make. 
because they are like those, I don't know, pixie glass made board. It's just not good. Once in a while, a sweetness will come through. But once that sweetness goes away, you get that manure, you get that earth, you get all the negative bitter taste that's just in this thing. It's almost giving me a headache, I think. Uh, yeah, the, the chocolate part is nice, but it's not every puff. And, you know, imagine eating something like eating a candy that's really sweet, it's nice, and then right after it follows by a really nasty, bitter, earth, dirt, mouth drying flavor. Like I keep licking my lip because it's drying me out. It's just not good. Um, I keep having to wash it off with my coffee because that's that's how I don't enjoy the cigar. It has good notes, but it has a bad note that overshadows the good notes right after. It dries you out. I don't know. I'm not seeing this. This right now. You know what? I'm going to smoke all the way down and I'll give you a final price assessment on this one. But uh, well, let's talk something positive, right? So the band looks pretty cool. In comparison, uh, obviously they filled in the, the spot that was on the back that I'd hate because it's harder to take this band off and they filled it in. So now the band comes off in one piece a lot easier. I like that. Uh, they changed the color. So um, it's not like the first version where there's no CAO on it, it just says vision on it. Now you can actually say, see that CAO is red, it's nice, it pops in the eyes. Uh, it's better design, not perfect. I feel like, you know, if you're gonna embellish your box that much, it should be better looking than this. But, you know, they did try and they improved the band. So yeah, props to that. Um, I think that they could have done better with the way this is done. But, you know, it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. So, yeah. Let me finish this cigar up. We'll come back. I'll tell you about how I don't recommend this cigar. <laughs> yep. All right. I'm going to last a little bit now. I'm done with this cigar. Definitely not recommend it. Tastes like a $6 cigar. Well, 5 Maybe $5 cigar. Uh, definitely did not taste good to me. Um, I do not recommend this cigar at all. I mean... I'm so glad I didn't buy it for the box. Like the box is really cool, but I don't think that anybody will enjoy this gritty coating. Like I feel like I just took a, a handful of dirt and put it in my mouth, so it lingers, and 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 lingers. It's very powdery in my mouth. I didn't like the cigar at all, so I don't recommend it. Don't buy it for the box. Um, you'll probably end up with 30 cigars that you don't like, and. Yeah, for five hundred dollars for a box, you can build a box without five hundred dollars. Not a good choice. Yeah, I think the first vision was better, better than this one at least. I don't know what's wrong with this. So, not recommended. And that will be the review for today. If you like the review, please hit like, subscribe, comment. And if you don't like it, well, I guess you like this again. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next review. See you guys later. Bye, guys.